Today's video from Sam 4 shl we're taking a look at adding a tip function button onto the ER900 series of registers. In this video I'm using the ER940 model, uh, but the programming process is the same across the range and it's also the same if you've got an old ER5200 series register. All you'll need is the metal key marked C and you need a spare function button. So on this portion of the keyboard, you've got all your products and over here are your function buttons. If you want to add a tip button, you need one of these spare that you're not currently using. So I'm going to change my percentage two button to be my tip button. Um, once I've decided that, the actual process is really straightforward. I have got all this information from the ER900 series manual, function key assignment in the service programming section. Um, but yeah, let's do it. Key round to service, which is one turn past PGM, six o'clock position, comes up and says service mode on the display. You then type in seven zero subtotal. The till reads key assignment, and now you type in the code for the tip button, which is 207. And then you press the button that you want to be the tip button, and then cache to save. You get a little receipt printout confirming what you've done and you can then turn the key round to register. What I'd recommend you do now is remove the C key, so turn it round to off and remove the C key and then put in your normal register key. The reason being is it stops you accidentally going back into the service mode. Um, and then from here we can now see how the tip button works. So if we do a £10 sale into our PLU2 button, subtotal, and then two pound tip, cash the sale off. So the tip is recorded on the till receipt and it'll also be recorded on the um, end of day report as well. So I've just done an X read just to double check what's going on. So we've got, that was our first sale of the day. So we've got a PLU sales total of 10 pounds, which is correct. Um, non-tax sales of £10, gross sales £10, but we've got and against cash sales and cash in draw we've got £12, same as our draw total and that's because we've got the £2 tip separated out. Okay I hope that video has been helpful, um, we've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the ER900 series and other SAM 4S cash registers. Some of those videos are probably appearing on screen now so feel free to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.